something's happening, something's up. They got a call, and we got to run. What happened? Do we know? Uh, we have a local alarm. There's an alarm system going off. Get it? Yeah. Okay. I smell the smoke. You can see it actually coming out of that window right there. So there's a fire. These guys are extremely brave. All I can see is a little bit of smoke, and I'm like, mm mm. They're trained to go in there to face what's happening and make it better, but that's scary. Ooh! Look at the smoke. Dang! This is nuts! I've never been this close to anything quite like this. I shut the power off the apartment 30, 31. We're trying to isolate the water just to those units. We were the first ones here. I mean, this is trippy. I wasn't expecting to actually get a call like this and to be in the action. When I found you on the second floor, you were in your kitchen kind of doubled over. So we just got to get you checked out, okay? This was unbelievable. Wow. Very humbling. The term BFD stands for many things. Here in Beantown, it's only synonymous with one, being first in the nation. The Boston Fire Department dates back to 1631. And while asking any one of them, do you guys consider yourselves heroes? Comes with the same selfless answer. No, it's, it's you know, part of, part of the job. It's hard not to view these brave men and women as anything but, as they willingly run toward danger while everyone else is fleeing from it. On a fall Friday in the Jamaica Plains-based firehouse, Joe Maisley, Chris Creighton, Richie Densmore, Jorge Rojas, Fritz Jaquette, Steve Atkins, Paul O'Brien, and Sam Dillon of Engine 28 and Tower Ladder 10 tend to their station while the adrenaline of first responding still courses through their veins. Good job, everybody. Yeah. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. And every day, at every firehouse, not just here in Boston, but across the states, the shift begins in the same fashion. Well, basically, every morning, around 8 30 9 o'clock it's considered housework some people are assigned certain positions so i'm assigned to drive today okay i'm gonna come into this yes. tower 10 and let you get in and start, oh my and start it goodness up. i'm gonna start it up the trunk yes <gasps> then hit this button here for the engine okay, now you can press the stop button press it, press it hold <laughs> that's the air horn not that one not that oh one. my god just rest out the start in your mind with the ladder fired up and anchored firmly, it's time to climb. All right, so we raise this bucket. Just raise it up. Pull the trigger, ease it back. Ooh. How high does it go? This is 9.95. You sit up here and have lunch sometimes? <laughs> now we're going to extend it. Yeah. Very sensitive. <laughs> but what goes up must also come down. So typically we make up our time in the firehouse. Yeah. So we want to get it uh, in our gear downstairs on the truck quickly. We don't want to be speeding to calls in the truck. It's too heavy and too dangerous. So this is where we make up our time. And here is the jaws of life. <laughs> Wow. I mean, yeah, that made that made it look like it was like, a like stick of butter. butter, right? Butter, <laughs> butter. And speaking of food, while it's customary the dinner be cooked in house, lunch means venturing back out into the very communities these firefighters protect. So this place up here, it's a it's a little uh, burrito place. It's my favorite lunch spot. So today, was that exciting for you? Because it was very exciting for me, but are you used to it? It's casual business, but I mean, it is exciting. Your heart's racing, you're trying to get your job done. You're trained for the job, yeah, yeah you're ready. Yeah. And you get to rely on your brothers and the people that... The team, the team, yeah. you know, everyone, everyone, has, everyone has their job, you know. I feel it, man, you gotta have each other's backs for real in this job. Being a Boston firefighter, I mean, what does that mean to you? Everybody knows us, you know? I mean, they, yeah. they see us in a, like a very, very high life. And that's some elite guys, status, but, yeah. You know, so it's, it's definitely pride, definitely pride. And thanks for letting me join you guys today. That was quite something. And literally mid-bite, another emergency call comes in. So it's an alarm call? Yep. Okay. 